Hello everyone. One of the most common things we're asking us to do is to clip the nails of these older pets. We'd like to introduce you to Rocky, who is how old, Andy? He is, uh, oh, how old is he? He's uh, about 16 now. Wow! And unfortunately, Rocky, common with a lot of older dogs and cats, tend to get quite long nails. Now, one of the most important things is, Sarah, just assessing what he's going to be like about having his claws touched, which is the first bit to see how he reacts. And then what we're going to get then is Andy's going to move into position and just hold him properly. So if Andy's going to move around, put your arm under his tummy and one arm around his neck. Do you see that? Now that posture is really important. Andy's going to hold him really gentle unless he just struggles a little bit and it means we've got control. Because some of the older dogs have a little bit of arthritis, it can be a bit painful. And then literally just clip the nail up, take a good pair of strong nail clippers and you can clip the tip off. Now part of the problem with Rocky is he's got slightly black nails so to some extent it's often hard to see the quick. So sometimes we're really just taking the tip of the nail off and have a rough estimate. If it does bleed a little bit then don't panic. But we try to take just the very tip of the nail then you can see there we've done that. And don't forget the dew claw especially in the older pets and I'll show on the other leg the dew claw. Is this your hand a minute? On thing which can get quite long and is especially common in cats. So we've done the front leg which is often easier and then what we tend to do is move on to a back leg. Remember all the time Andy's help holding and supporting the dog just as hard as we need to so the dog feels very comfortable and secure but if we need to we can get a bit stronger and again we just repeat the process but we tend to test the front legs first rather than the back leg. Interestingly in cats you often tend to do the back legs as well in older cats, but in younger cats, and often you don't need to do the back leg nails. And basically then, we just check, check how it is, and then we basically will just move quietly on and do the rest of the feet. So what Andy's going to do now, turn the dog around, and he's going to do the, the uh, repeat the process exactly the same. So about the piano music in the background. And then we basically repeat exactly the same procedure. In a smaller dog, we put a towel on the table and we might lift the dog up. In these larger dogs, we find it much easier to do on the floor and often the dog's much more secure on the floor than it is on a table. This is a strange nail. And as you say, in these older dogs, we sometimes get these overgrown and slightly peculiar nails. When in these, we tend to just nip off the very tip of it could often not causing a real problem. Can we ask just one very close up, Sarah, just the finish of the nail, and that's it. There, now you can see with these dark nails how it can be quite hard. So then we'll probably go about four or five millimetres up and just clip off the tip. And at least that way it's become comfortable for the dog, but not too far back. You see that? And a nice, really quick, sharp, because these nails are quite thick, so you've got to cut really quickly. And that means it's much less discomfort for the dog and it's important you have a pair of really sharp nail clippers. I hope everybody can see that there. As I say, we're getting on through and dog feeling a tiny bit of pressure, which is very common to do these actual nails, but again, cut very quickly. So again, thank you all very much for viewing. Thank Andy and Rocky. And I think Rocky's relatively unperturbed by the whole procedure. Rocky's over there. I know he's recording.